Hey, what up boys? So it's the dawn of the final day. 24 hours remain, and by this time tomorrow, all of our burning questions related to Ashes of Creation's upcoming Alpha 2 will be answered. But before we get into that, sit back, relax, and grab yourself a... Opa, Kyola, because tension is high within the Ashes of Creation community right now. People who used to oppose my realistic views on the game are starting to actually agree with me, and due to recent events, people are dumpstering reasonable expectations to ones that are far below what Intrepid have shown in the last three years of hardcore development. A shame, considering we're months away from Alpha 2, and hype should be at an all-time high, but it is an expected reaction due to the goodwill Intrepid have recently thrown down the drain. So today, I want to talk about tomorrow's AMA and express the things that I think Stephen Sharif needs to address directly. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? So back in July, I made a video talking about how Intrepid's communication had completely broken down and how the wider audience are starting to lose faith in what Intrepid are showing. And this is because Steven avoids any relevant questions related to the state of the game, but despite that, continues to make ludicrous statements ensuring everyone that development is going fine. Well, recently, we've learned that everything is not going fine, as delays and the state of the recent showcases have put everyone on edge. It almost feels like we're about to walk into a bait and switch, which is an awful look for a Kickstarter game that's been in development for eight years, charging $250 for access to a game that quite literally doesn't exist. But all of these concerns could evaporate tomorrow. Personally, I'm still confident in the team Steven has put together. I mean, just look at the showcases for God's sake. And I'm of the opinion that the recent delay was actually just a clever tactic to avoid other game releases as they should. Intrepid is, after all, in a power position to do this very thing, so why wouldn't they utilize that? Despite what a lot of other content creators are saying, I do not think Steven is going to announce another delay tomorrow, so I just wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> right? They won't delay. <laughs> I'm gonna delay, guys. They won't. Trust me. All jokes aside though, Mr. Sharif has a huge opportunity tomorrow to tell the world what his team has been working on for eight years, and this by itself is very exciting. It is basically make or break for the game, as what is announced is not only going to determine their future interest, but also determine their monetization during this next phase of development, because yes, in case you were unaware, the Alpha 2 sales are returning tomorrow with a deep dive on their new price. Are they going to be jacking up the price again? and attaching more cosmetics, or are the keys going to be sold on their own in an early access style launch, or is some physical merch going to get involved somehow? I've avoided talking about the keys returning because I'm not particularly happy about it. However, I'm keeping my concerns reserved until after we learn about them because speculating on it is not very productive and also not very good for my mental health. I can assure you though, I will be giving my opinions, but only after we learn about them tomorrow. Now, the keys returning is such a minor part of what this AMA is all about, because after three years of dodging our questions, Steven is finally about to answer them all. The forum thread that was set up for the community to ask these questions are completely in sync with each other. Everyone is asking the same five questions related to the Alpha 2 release, and the questions are thusly. Which node stages and node racial styles will we have access to at the launch of Alpha 2? How many biomes will we have access to at the launch of Alpha 2? Which are Artisan professions will be available at the start of Alpha 2, and which tier of progression will be available for these professions? Which races will be playable and customizable in the character creator at the launch of Alpha 2? And finally, how many realms are expected to be available on the launch of Alpha 2, and what will the player cap for those realms be? There are, of course, a few other minor questions people want answered that are repeated a couple of times, but these five are the main ones that everyone seems to be spamming, and the ones that I am also most interested in. 
it is paramount that Steeman Sharif addresses these particular five questions with zero deflection and zero sugar coating. We just want answers. This is an open development project, but audiences have no clue what they've pledged their $250 to actually test. I'd say people have pledged based on what Intrepid have shown in live streams, and if these things are not available, then that's going to be a big problem for the integrity of the game. There is only so many times that we can say, we're only an indie developer, before things stop making sense. People will feel cheated and lied to, and unfortunately, that's completely on Stephen Sharif. So, I'll say it again. It is extremely important that Steven is completely open and transparent with the community tomorrow because reopening the key sales without clearly stating what we're buying into is just a straight up scam that reflects a lot of previous Kickstarter projects. But I digress. In addition to this, we also have the namesake of the actual AMA, the roadmap. Not only are we learning about the state of Alpha 2's launch tomorrow, but we're also getting a glimpse into the future of Alpha 2 and how Intrepid are handling the time Line. We'll learn about the upcoming updates and how Intrepid plan to release content to us. However, as I stated in my video about the roadmap specifically, timelines are not exactly Intrepid's strong points. I'm not sure attaching dates to anything in this upcoming roadmap is a good idea, and I'd just be satisfied knowing which order that they're releasing things, and they'll come when they're ready. A lot of people were disappointed to hear the Rogue wasn't ready for the Alpha 2 launch, but hearing that the Rogue is one of the first major updates will completely dissipate these disappointments. Now, to conclude, I think it's important to encourage open, truthful statements with no deflection from Steven, so please, please be vocal in the Twitch chat, on social media, and within the comment section of their YouTube video about it. Praise truth, but raise concerns and be vocal about deflection, because this is the only way that we can communicate to Intrepid and help them improve their communication for the future. Ultimately, anything that happens prior to Alpha 2's launch is meaningless because their reach right now is so small. The real challenge will come when Alpha 2 is released and the wider audience get their hands on this highly anticipated MMORPG and I can tell you for a fact, these people will not tolerate deflection and miscommunication and it's up to us to encourage improvement. I do still fully believe in this project, Steven's vision, and the incredibly talented team at Intrepid Studios. The showcases as of late have shown some incredibly well-designed environments, but more importantly, shown highly polished gameplay with an insane amount of depth that I think will stand the test of time and rebuild the foundation for why old-school long-term design works and why modern short-term design does not. We're less than one day away from finally learning what Intrepid Studios have worked hard on these last three years, and I for one cannot wait to hear what Stephen Sharif has to tell us. But as usual, I am just one nerd desperate for a good MMO, and my opinion means nothing without yours in the comments below. And hey, we'll be giving our final predictions for the AMA live over at twitch.tv for Shashnarkabest, so come join us for some last minute cope before this whole project collapses under the truth. Because we're high on copium.